My name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome. However, if you're a returning subscriber and you've come back for more, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. So today I'd like to show you how I make this little yam bites. And these are suitable for when you have guests coming over, you're taking it for house fellowship, uh, you're bringing a dish to share at work, or you just feel like treating yourself to some little fried yam cubes at home. I'll show you the step by step so how I make my yam bites. And I'll show you what they look like at the end. So stay with me. Let's do this together. Okay, so to make our yam bite, the first thing we need is yam. As big or as small a tuber of yam, it, that's up to you. But today I'm going to be doing just a little portion. Because the more you make, the more you're going to eat. So I'm going to cut it short today. So you need yams. You need sugar. You need salt. You need some pepper, you need some eggs, and you need flour. I'm using self-raising flour, but it doesn't matter. You can also use plain flour for this recipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is to sl slice, peel, and cube my yams. So next thing, I'm going to wash my yams thoroughly under a running tap. You don't want no stones in your uh, yam bites. So we're going to wash it, wash it, wash it thoroughly with cold water from a running tap. Okay, so now that my yams have been thoroughly washed and they're nice and clean, I'm going to boil them on the stove. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this yam. And I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar to the yam. Um, I'm team cooking yam with sugar and salt. If you're team cooking yam with only salt, if you're team sugar, thumbs up. And team sugar and salt, thumbs up too. But you can put in the comment section below. It'd be nice to know how many people cook their yams with sugar and salt. So sugar and salt now in. Give it a good mix. Put a lid on it and cook it for about 10, 10 minutes. It shouldn't take too long because they're only tiny cubes. Cook it for about 10 minutes and then we'll do the rest. Okay, so now that my yams are cooking away in the pot on the stove there, I'm going to prepare my coating for uh, to fry the the yam bites. So I'm going to start with the flour. So put a little bit of flour in a plate like this. Actually, put all of it in. And you can season it with whatever you like. Yam bites are better, slightly spicy. So you can just go boom. <laughs> so put a little bit of hot pepper. Put as much as or as little as you fancy. Or depending on if you're sharing it with um people that you're not sure of how much so, uh, how much pepper they can handle, just put a little bit of pepper. It doesn't need to be too much. And put a little bit of salt as well into this part. So just tiny bit of salt. A little bit of salt goes a long way. We don't need that much salt. And give it a good mix. Give it a good thorough mix. With a fork, it's usually easier. Mix, mix, mix. You can put seasoning cube in at this point, but I'd rather not. So to do salt and pepper, simple, nice and easy. That will do. So once that's thoroughly mixed, that's fine. That bit is done. Next, I'm going to go over to the eggs and then crack your eggs. So 
so in your eggs put a little bit of salt tiny bit of salt uh, and a little bit of pepper and give it a whisk and this should be sufficient for the quantity of yams that we're making uh, we're gonna check on the yams now once they once they slightly cooked and cooled down a little bit we're going to start the frying process just stay with me okay so now that my yams are cooked and slightly cooled down i'm going to start the dipping and wrapping process and i'll show you so i'll take the yam like that put it in the flour mixture that we made earlier we'll, we'll carry on like that till we've coated all our yams in the flour dusting off all the excess Okay, so now I have coated all my yams in flour. I'm going to coat them in the egg now and I'm going to start frying. So I'm going to toss them in the egg and toss them in the oil. The oil is hot enough. Like that. They need to go straight away in the oil. Like that. Okay, so once they're browned, once they're brown, I'm going to take them out onto, look, this kind of golden brown, onto paper. So there you have it, our yummy yam bites are ready. For an extra kick, you can add a little bit of chili garlic. Or not, that's up to you. And also, feel free to share, feel free to keep it all to yourself. But be careful, just one or two will do because you want to keep your summer body loaded. 2022 summer body we're working on it <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do if you like this yummy yam bite please click the like button and please write something in the comment section below just so i know you like what i'm doing yeah thank you for watching see you next time Bye bye